In this video, we're going to take a look at something called filleting. Now this basically means adding radius or a radii to a corner. There are various ways to do this. You can do it as I've shown previously when creating a rectangle and you can automatically add the radius to the corners when creating that. Another way to do it is to actually use the filleting tool. So if you come here, you've got fillet vectors. So if I select that, and then let's zoom in, let's say here, and I've got a fillet radius of a quarter of an inch. So whatever radius you want, just type it in there, and then come over to the vector, select one line, and you get this sort of blue star and then select another line okay and then it creates a, a radius between those select there and select there and it creates a radius okay let me undo that now you have some other options here so you've got for this arc you've got dog bone now what this does if you select there and there it creates a larger sort of circle. Now, what you would have done back in the day is actually create a circle here and maybe drill it or just follow this profile around. This is basically if you have something that fits in here because obviously you have the radius of the tool. So if you were to, let me undo that, cut the inside of this, you would still have the radius of the tool in there. And if something mated or fitted onto the top of that, it wouldn't fit because the other part could have a square edge. Okay, so this is why you would do that. So if I select there and there, you can see that it makes it larger. Now you can also do T-bone. So the, the only trouble or the downside with doing these is that if this is a piece that's been shown, then what will happen is that you'll be able to see this little bit of overshoot here. So you'll be able to see this on the outside. So it will actually be shown on the finished piece. So you may have something that, let's say, if I draw that there, that fits in there. Okay, and this is what you would see on the outside. So sometimes you may not want this. Okay, so if you want to do that, and then go back to the fillet tool and use a T bone instead of a dog bone. Okay, so the T bone allows you to do it in whatever direction that you want. So there may be a direction that's not seen. Okay, so if I go from there to there, you can see that it goes in the horizontal. If I undo that and go the opposite way, it goes in the vertical. Okay, now this section here, external arc, this is basically for knives or for lasers. So if I were to select there and there, what happens is it creates this loop. So if I were cutting the profile of this, it stops it from slowing down and stopping in the corner. And it allows it to go around this and then come back down. So it keeps a constant speed. And it also, for the laser, and it also allows the knife to turn, the drag knife to turn round. 